You are listening to The Art of Sales. Everyone sells every day. And this is your source for conversational, real-world sales and prospecting methods that you are comfortable using and that get results. You'll help people buy instead of pushing them into being sold. Here's your host, Art Subject. I was out on the road doing some training and I stopped in a pizza joint to grab a quick slice for lunch and I noticed in the all you can eat buffet line there was this supersized guy who appeared to be not just overweight but well he was grossly obese and he had two overflowing plates in his hand and piling on as much as he could possibly put on there now his buddy was in the line directly behind him he was about half his size and he was, he was ribbing him. He was joking with him a little bit. And he said, hey, Tiny, take one more slice. That's going to help you get in shape. And the big guy said, huh, what do you mean? Round is a shape. Well, that's a sad example of how lots of people view their health. And it's very similar to how many other pu- people view their sales health. You see, your attitude towards sales and your own self-improvement is even more important than the techniques that we cover here. I hear these statements all too often. For example, from managers, they'll say, oh, my salespeople are seasoned, they don't need training. Or, oh yeah, my sales reps are veterans, they're experienced. Or from sales reps, "Eh, I've been through training before, I've seen all that stuff. Or, yeah, I've been in sales quite a while. Yeah, I, I do pretty good now. Well, let me put this in another light. What if you heard something similar from a, oh, cardiac surgeon? Oh, yeah, I had a class on heart surgery once back in medical school. That's good enough. Or a professional baseball player. I don't need to go to spring training or take batting practice or infield before games. I've been playing for a lot of years. Or how about from an Olympic figure skater? Yeah, I practiced a routine once a few years ago. I don't need to go through it again before competition. Or how about a big guy at a pizza buffet? Yeah, I am in shape. I own a treadmill and I even got on it once. Now, of course, those are all absurd statements, but so are the ones from sales reps and managers who think they're good enough. The fact is, good enough does not win championships. It doesn't make people excellent or wealthy or healthy. And by the way, if you're a sales manager who thinks that experience alone makes for a good salesperson, well, think again. Experience measures attendance, accomplishment, and results measure success, and continued learning ensures that. Okay, so what's my point? Well, you likely have not come close to reaching your potential as a sales professional. Very few people have. I know I haven't. In order to accomplish more of what you're capable of, I challenge you to look at your own good enough barrier and break through it, regardless of how high that bar is set for you. The invisible obstacles are really what holds most people back. That's been my experience in over 30 years of working with salespeople. Just just when salespeople begin approaching an opportunity to put in a little bit extra and to invest in themselves to seize a potential new achievement, many hit this mental boundary and they say to themselves, eh, you know, that, that's good enough. Well, good enough is when talented people don't fully develop their abilities. Good enough is when service slips and customers complain. Good enough is when sales professionals do what it takes to get by, but they miss growth and income opportunities in the process. People who are satisfied with good enough cheat themselves, they cheat their family, they cheat their company and their customers. So here's an action step for you. If you're serious about sales as a career, not just something you dabble in or something to pay the bills, take a serious look at what you're doing consistently to improve your sales health. Like I always say, sales is an art, no pun intended, and a science, 
and a skill. And it takes continual practice and accumulation of new information in order to reach higher levels. I find it mind boggling that many salespeople have oh, four to six years or more of college and 20000 up to $200,000 plus invested in their college education, but yet they don't invest squat in what really matters and what really will directly affect their income much more than any college degree, and that's their ongoing sales education. So just when you're about to say, this is good enough, push that barrier away. Go that extra inch. Health experts suggest exercising 30 minutes at a time, three to five times per week. Now, if you invested an equal amount in your sales health, reading, watching videos, listening to this podcast and others, writing, practicing, you can accomplish things other people with the low good enough barometers will never come close to reaching. So I challenge you, anytime you're tempted to say something is good enough, force yourself to go above and beyond what most average people do. Do that consistently, and you're going to get above average results. Okay, got a little bit fired up there, didn't I? So, hey, you know what time it is. Your attitude will be high and never will, never feel what they say is the art of the sales quote of the day. That's right. Time for the quote of the day. And I actually have a couple of quotes that complement each other and our topic today. The first is by Jim Collins, who said, good is the enemy of great. And then John D. Rockefeller said, although he probably said it first, given the ages here, don't be afraid to give up the good to go for the great. Wow, really, in summary, don't accept mediocrity or being average when excellence is an option. All right, if you're getting value from these tips, a couple favors I'd like to ask of you. Please share our site, theartofsales.com, theartofsales.com with a colleague or a friend who could benefit. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. If you're on iTunes, please give us a five-star rating and a nice review. And share theartofsales.com on social media. Also, Go to my blog, smartcalling.com, and pick up your free ebook of 501 sales tips. Until next time, go out and make it your best sales day ever. I'm Art Subcheck. <laughs>